Good morning, YouTube fam. So, showed you a little demonstration of what we got going on today. Um, didn't really give you a backstory on the car either. Um, so, right before my 50th birthday, I got the itch to get a classic car. And I've been wanting one for a long time, but I figured this is the uh, the life point, life event to uh, to make that happen. So, I found this car online at a dealership in Massachusetts. Uh, contacted them via email. We had phone conversations. They sent me pictures. Um, they were very upfront about the condition of the car. I knew it was a fixer-upper, but I wanted it anyway. So, long story short, got everything worked out and had the car shipped here. The first time I saw it was when it came off the truck and uh, the the delivery driver drove it right to my driveway. So I've put some videos out already on some of the stuff I've done and still working on the center console piece. Um, there's some rust spots around it. Uh, engine is pretty much straight. Uh, found that there were grounds that weren't connected so it was running really rough to start with. Those have been worked through. Um, I have everything in place to do a front disc conversion. Uh, that will be in the works here in the near future. Um, but for today, what I want to do is uh, get the headlights straight so that um, if I do take it out and I take it out at night, then I at least can, can see it get home and it's safe to drive. Um, so we're gonna take off the front bezels and we're gonna just re we're replacing the uh, low beams. That's all we're gonna replace. So here we go. They were, the pins were broke off. Maybe that's part of why the lights weren't working right.
so what's funny about this is uh, when I got the car this headlight was not even plugged in the driver's side uh, low beam was not plugged in plug these in and I had some lights but it still wasn't working right we'll come to find out the driver's side low beam the tabs two of the tabs are broke off of it so that was kind of causing a short but also whenever I go to high beams the passenger side um, low beam would just cut off it's not supposed to so that bulb was bad but we also had an issue here so now uh, two new bulbs from Rock Auto and uh, we're back functional we're back uh, safe to drive on the road so stay tuned more to come on this car and that's gonna conclude today's install video um, thank the Lord this was pretty straightforward um, lights work good and uh, that's a quick and easy one to get uh, get the car back road ready so it's kind of motivating to uh, to finish a project like that I mean it's simple but it feels good when you accomplish something where you make something on your car work like it's supposed to work with your own two hands. So I say this, never be afraid to uh, try something new. Never be afraid to try some kind of car project and uh, call on your friends and family because uh, there's a lot of knowledge out there that can help you get it done. And uh, just stay positive and uh, keep grinding. Have a good one.